I am not a shoe designer, but in this video, I am going to attempt a pair of Yeezy sneakers. The big challenge for this video is to design a pair of sneakers for Yeezy. As the video progresses, I will get closer to the finished design. And remember, I am not a shoe designer. So towards the end of the video, we'll see if I'm successful. Here we are, the design brief. No idea what this should be. Bruh. All I really want to do is to design a cool pair of shoes. Cool enough to where I would be proud to post it on my Instagram. And since these are for Yeezy, they're gonna need to look like Yeezys. Fit the family aesthetic. And my biggest goal is for you guys to think it's cool enough to leave in the comments saying, I'd buy that, Jimmy. That would be enough for me to feel like it has been a successful project. Okay, well that is the brief. It's time for research. Since I know nothing about sneaker culture, in this research phase, I will gather all the information I need, which will really come in handy in the next phase where I will be designing and sketching. So for these shoe collectors or sneaker heads as they call themselves, the most important things when it comes to their shoes that they collect is of course the style, the material, and the colorway, along with the sizing, the comfort, and the actual box that you buy it in. We cannot forget about its brand, the exclusivity of the shoe, and the construction of the shoe. And speaking about construction, during my research I found a really cool YouTube channel. His name is Rose Anvil and he actually cuts shoes in half. Seeing the actual cross section allowed me to have a great understanding of how these shoes are put together and the materials that they're actually made of. And quick facts about Yeezy. They're headquartered in Calabasas, California. They have a full fashion line making clothing along with their shoes. Yeezy used to be partnered with Nike, but now they're with Adidas. At the time of this recording, Kanye West still holds 100% ownership of Yeezy. Taking a look at the 350 V2, these ones are actually the most common ones I've seen people wear. They have a rubber sole fill filled with foam and the top is completely knit. Ah, uh, the 450s, these ones are the spiky ones. This one oddly reminds me of a project that I made when I was still going to design school. The 500s, I know this one as the lumpy one. This one's also known to have that dad vibe to it, but I really do like the suede material. The 700 V3s, these ones used to have that very retro vibe to them with the V1s, but now with that pattern, it just reminds me of Venom. <laughs> The Yeezy Knit Runners. These ones actually win second place in my book on the most interesting design. At the top, they're fully made of knit with a rubber sole. And the number one place for most interesting design when it comes to Yeezys are these, the Foam Runners. They have a very polarizing design with a single piece construction. I do really like the rear view of these. They just remind me of bones. And if we overlap all the sneaker profiles together, this is roughly the average profile of what we would get. I'm gonna use this profile to help me with my design sketch. While I'm at it, I also put together this mood board. This will help me keep my vision as I move forward in the next couple phases of design. And this is the part of the video where it gets sketchy. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I'm just gonna start sketching. So I started sketching and I soon found out this is actually gonna be a lot harder than I thought. So I went back to the research phase to see how the pros do it. So hopefully I can draw some inspiration. <laughs> if you know anything about sneakers, you probably have seen these and that and those. These are some of the most iconic sneakers and they were all designed by this guy, Steven Smith. He's designed for some of the most major brands, Adidas, Nike, New Balance, you name it. Now he works for Yeezy. After taking a look at some of his sketches, I have a better understanding of what I wanna do for my own shoe. Out of all the Yeezys, the 350 V2s are the best selling Yeezys. For my own design, I wanna try to make something similar to the 350 V2s, change it up a bit to make it my own. Now now that I finished with my sketch exploration, I jumped into Photoshop to begin finalizing the design. This will really help me out by giving me a clear vision on what to 3D model as we move to the next phases of design. So I've been pretty confident all the way up into this point, but now that we've entered into the 3D phase, I gotta be real with you guys. 
I'm not as confident. I knew coming into this that building this shoe in SolidWorks was gonna be the biggest challenge of this video. Reason being is it's in the name, SolidWorks. You build solid things in SolidWorks and this shoe is one, very organic and two, it's a soft good. Two things that I've never had to design before. And just knowing that building this shoe in SolidWorks has been giving me a lot of anxiety. So my game plan is like anything else difficult that I've ever had to do, I'm just gonna take it one step at a time. All right guys, wish me luck. Starting off this build, guys, it was pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. There was a lot of figuring out how to actually build this thing using surfaces, and after a lot of head scratching, I started building some momentum. Eventually, I started building each individual part, and things started going my way. What took me the most time was fine-tuning all the curves to get the shape exactly how I wanted it. I did try some different things out, but it didn't make it into the video. At the end of the day, I really just want to keep this design very simple. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks at the moment and surprised how organic it actually turned out. It's not perfect by any means. I probably would spend a lot more time if it was an actual real project. At this point though, it's good enough to move on to the next phase of rendering. Hey, Jimmy Design here. Really hoped you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos like these. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subs by the end of this year, so I really hope we can do it. Also, if you wanna check out the final renders, the final shots, they'll be all posted on my Instagram page. The link should be down below, so consider following me there as well. And also leave a comment down below if there's any other product you would like me to design for the next video. All right, guys, my name is Jimmy Design and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.